This is Lakitria. Our organization is Service King Collision Repair Centers. My role is the Senior Manager of Strategic Sourcing. It's all about the customer service aspect. Um, people are still driving vehicles, uh, which is very important. I tell a lot of students um, that, you know, really look at um, opportunities where there is a need. Um, lots of times we want to do things that we, we want to do, what we like to do, uh, but from a strategic standpoint, looking at where, where is there a need. Um, and there's a need for skilled uh, laborers in our industry, uh, which is the collision industry, as well as other industries, when you think about logistics and, and things of that nature. But um, it's really about us being able to provide a service to the community. Uh, there's parents that still have to get to work for those that are not working remote. Um, unfortunately, there will be accidents as long as there's vehicles. Um, so for us, you know, that's a sense of a job security if you if you want to look at it that way. Um, but as far as the community, um, you know, it's really about uh, being able to help give back um, and support and just making sure that everyone is safe. Um, that's our number one priority at Service King. And I'm sure as a, uh, the collision industry as a whole is to get people back on the road um, safe and having their vehicles be better than wh what they were when they came in. As an industry, we have been kind of at the mercy of the, the body technicians, uh, but now I think it's going to be the, the opposite. Um, there's going to be a huge attraction um, to uh, companies like Service King that have been able to maintain uh, employment uh, for um, you know quite a bit of our teammates throughout the organization. Uh, so you know being viewed as a stable company is something that I think um, us as well as any other uh, competitors in the industry that have been able to maintain um, you know staying open it's going to be a huge attraction uh, for those uh, shop technicians and other um, technical skilled um, teammates in the industry so we are now um, you know it's kind of a competitive advantage for us um, so what we're focusing on is building out pipelines and I think that's what a lot of, of um, companies are, are, are working on right now based on kind of where we are with the hiring but uh, building out pipelines and reaching out to these technicians that may have been let go, um, you know, to uh, let them know about the future opportunities with Service King and what we will be able to uh, bring to the table. But like I said, our, our first priority is to bring those teammates back that we currently um, had to furlough and then moving into that, popu uh, that population of um, uh, candidates that are actively looking for employment. So I really see uh, from a talent assessment standpoint, um, the industry, it's, it's, it's definitely going to be a change, um, a change in how we do business uh, going forward, um, as far as the safety measures that have to be taken. And then most importantly, um, I think we'll, we'll start to see um, a higher retention uh, within the industry just because of what has happened over the past couple of months. So we have a, uh, a talent development department. Part of their responsibility is to maintain relationships uh, with ICAR uh, for us. Um, and we ensure that every teammate um, that is working on a vehicle con uh, receives continuous education through ICAR. Um, this is how we stay up to date with the technology. Um, our IT department um, also, um, you know, looks into uh, different ways we can continue to uh, grow and grow and develop um, our skill sets to maintain a competitive edge. Um, you know, as far as uh, what, what we are able to offer our our customers. Um, you know, some of those key things that we've been able to. Uh, really look at is how the back of the shop and the front of the shop uh, communicates with each other. So we've uh, developed a technology to make it easier for our repair planners, uh, formerly known as service advisors, to be able to communicate with the body technicians. So allowing, um, you know, a focus on increasing productivity. Um, so we went through a huge uh, transformation in the last year as far as our standard operation procedures. And again, that's to make maintain uh, the te technology um, in order to co continue to uh, grow our business, um, as well as being able to streamline uh, the workflow uh, within each shop 
again, to ensure we're able to uh, drive continuous education. And we do a lot of that through virtual. So um, it's kind of interesting that um, everyone is now kind of jumping on this uh, virtual train, if you will. Um, Service King has been ahead of the curve on that for quite a while in regards to how we work, how we communicate, and most importantly, how do we um, develop our team. So as far as online training, um, what UTI has to offer students, I think that is wonderful. Um, again, we are in a day and age now where it's even more important that students have a capacity to learn um, online and hands-on. Um, so at Service King, that's exactly what we do. We've been doing this for quite a while, to be honest. Um, you know, and it's it's been great. It, it, it drives reinforcement of what um, st students are learning. And so to be able to get that from UTI, it's going to make the transition even easier as they move into uh, their skill, uh, skill trade uh, with a company or an employer. Uh, because like I said, most employers now have a, a diversified training portfolio. And it's really important that we do that. Number one, if you have over 300 plus locations, um, it's not physically possible to train everyone um, at, at that same capacity. So we had to work a little bit smarter um, and identify what key, key uh, functions of their positions uh, where it can be online training and then what are those key things that we have to physically be there or we have to have someone uh, in place to train train them on um, like i said we do a lot of virtual trainings um, whether it be through icar um, as well as some uh, other platforms that we use we have a, what we call a lms which is a learning management system and that's where all of our teammates are able to go into uh, required trainings that they have to complete um, and, and get those done online. So it's allowing our skilled technicians, uh, whether they are freshly out of UTI or they've been in the industry uh, for a while, it keeps everyone fresh and current on being able to uh, multitask their own um, development um, as it relates to online training and uh, the hands-on experience that uh, each one of them will receive. As far as UTI and how they prepare students um, and why we recruit from UTI, it's a couple of our key reasons. Um, number one, uh, we've been to your facility, uh, your, your school. It is state of, state of the art, uh, fantastic. Um, the uh, faculty is engaged. Uh, that's one key thing that Service King looks for is uh, the engagement of the faculty, um, the curriculum that UTI provides, the partnership um, in regards to having an advisory board which allows employers to be able to actually provide feedback on what we're seeing from the students and then also uh, from an industry perspective what we can um, you know communicate to the school to ensure that the students are staying up to date um, with current trends within the industry. Um, another reason why we specifically Service King uh, recruits from UTI is the talent. I think uh, overall you guys um, have a fantastic um, uh, uh, onboarding program for your, your new students, um, as well as how you maintain the engagement uh, from the start of the program until their graduation date. Um, you keep employers very active um, with uh, events that are happening, which allows the students to get more professional um, experience, whether it be through career fairs, uh, whether it be through um, having employers come in and do professional development days with the students. Um, again, it allows them to be able to uh, continue to grow even while they're in uh, in school and then also um, UTI does a great job of helping the students uh, build a network and what I mean by that is these students are being exposed to employers on a constant basis uh, whether it be virtually or whether it be in person uh, which allows that student to build their I call it board of directors even before they graduate so they can reach out and say hey I'm, I'm graduating in two months I'm ready to start at Service King or, or some other company. So I think overall UTI does a fantastic job of preparing students uh, for their career, not just a job, and most importantly, the relationship that you have uh, created between the students and the employer. What technicians need to uh, focus on to be successful as far as skill sets are a few things. Obviously, um, 
you know, getting certifications is very important um, because we are working on um, people's vehicles. So we want to make sure that um, everyone is qualified and certified uh, to be able to work on, on these various uh, cars that, that come into uh, specifically a Service King. Um, some other uh, things that we want to make sure that you have is ICAR certification. That is extremely important because as I mentioned before, um, ICAR helps to, con to um, continue to keep us up to date with certain technologies, rules and regulations as it relates to us, um, you know, uh, working on people's vehicles. Um, I would say the other uh, skill set that um, it, technicians specifically need to have is the ability to be flexible and adaptable. Um, in some shops, those shops may be running X amount of money each month, um, and then you have some shops where it's a, you know, a, a smaller shop. So being able to be flexible when that work comes in, uh, being able to you know, really buckle down and um, you know, support the shop. And then when there's times where the work may be light or you may be in a small volume short, uh, shop, excuse me, uh, being able to uh, see what other things that you can do and support the shop uh, to continue to um, help grow and obviously support, support yourself. So um, as far as soft skills, I think a couple of key things that technicians um, in the industry or going into the industry needs to have is to be able to communicate effectively. That is extremely important, especially when you're working on a vehicle. Uh, the technician is working with so many uh, different people, whether it be the general manager, whether it be the uh, production manager, uh, the repair planner or service advisor, as we, we formally called it. Um, so there's a, quite a few folks that um, touch each car. And so it's important that they have great communication um, so that way the leadership team can effectively plan when these vehicles will be coming out um, to these customers. I would say another soft skill uh, that technicians um, need to have is um, the ability to uh, be receptive to feedback um, and then also share feedback. You know, um, if there's something that they see is not working, being able to be, feel okay to, to let that um, repair planner or let that GM know um, so that way they can make adjustments. Again, the whole goal is to uh, take care of our customers and then obviously take care of the team. So having the ability to provide feedback um, as well as receive it um, and then being able to communicate effectively are some key uh, soft skills uh, that technicians need uh, to be successful in the industry. For students that um, are about to graduate, some things that you can do um, as you are looking for uh, positions are a few. There's quite a few actually. Um, I would say the first thing is to reach out to those employers. Um, you've had quite a few employers that have been on campus even before um, COVID-19. Um, so if you've been able to make contact with those employers, reach out. Um, like I said, a lot of employers are in the process now of interviewing candidates. So when the, the green light um, goes, they've got folks that are ready to be put in place. Um, I think another thing that students can do is to make sure you have an actual resume. I've seen um, you know, some students where they, they're not sure what to put on the resume, but again, that's where your career service, um, a career advisor team, um, as well as the, uh, the employers that have reached out to you can help support you in that, in that matter. Um, I of, often volunteer to uh, look at student re resumes to give them um, critiques or suggestions on what they can do. Um, I think the third thing that students can do as they are, are getting ready to graduate is to find out who's hosting virtual career fairs. I know UTI um, is, is fabulous at doing various things to promote student employment, um, but then you can also look at um, companies. There may be companies um, that are hosting virtual career fairs for various positions uh, that are open. Like I said, um, our industry is an essential business, so there are folks that are still hiring out here and just trying to figure out where these, these students are in order to bring them aboard. Um, and then lastly, I would say, um, make sure that you follow up with um, anyone that you do interview with. Send them an email, a, a quick thank you, um, just something to let them know that you are extremely interested um, in the position. Um, that's what will set you apart from all of the other uh, competing schools or, or uh, students that are graduating. Um, you know, just to kind of put that extra mile on it to uh, ensure that they know that you are extremely interested in the role. So those are just a few things that students can do as they are getting ready to graduate and look for future opportunities to start their career. 
As far as predictions for the industry uh, going forward, I would say the biggest thing um, I would see is potentially, and this is just an, um, probably an idea as well as something that I'm, I'm anticipating happening, um, is where we have more of a virtual uh, relationship with the customers. Um, I could see that being something that will change um, change the industry um, from where, where we are today. Um, like I said, it's really about the uh, the safety piece, but I could I could definitely see where in the future there may be some type of technology or things that are being created to um, you know make it more of a virtual experience, still receiving the same type of customer service, uh, but making it more of a virtual experience. Um, as far as the technicians, uh, at any end of the day, they still have to work on the vehicles, so some things uh, won't change as far as fun functional. Um, skill sets, but how we manage the business, I could see um, things like that evolving uh, over time.